Menteri Lang Bak Kejelah Konrad K. Sangma Hakas Ngibalang Loong Baka Sorkal Mekalaya Demokratik Alliance MDA Bayalam Daka NPP Kan Pendiap Ya Kajing Sinsyar Haduk Bekut Kasamoy Basan Senem Ukonrat Ubedayu National Presiden ke NPP Bat Chairman ke MDA Ulak Lum Ya Kajing Yalang Bat Barok Kipar Lok Baya Trailang Hadian Kajing Syarem Haka Election Lok Sebaha Ajar Posau Na Barok Arteli Ki Konsuensi Kejelah Haba ya kren bagi nang tok kubor konrad loong ba ke jingbam la ban le baha jong ke npp ka dan bun baha ki daw bat ong ka dang kloi palat ya nga ban kin thoi ai hanrei ki dan chibun ki daw bat ngila dep ya song ya kato ka ne ki jingelang ban ya kren ya kene ka kam even in my uh, message on social media that uh, we very humbly accept uh, the mandate of the people and uh, we have to move forward from here I have also taken the opportunity to wish both the uh, MPs uh, the very best and uh, of course there are a lot of expectations, a lot of work to be done and I'm sure uh, they will be very capable of uh, moving a lot of things uh, in, the, in the parliament and getting things uh, forward. So I wish them the very best and as I said we accept the mandate of the uh, election of the people. So, 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 so do you think it's a wake up call for NPP? Uh, you see, elections are all, uh, every election is different. The issues are different in every election and, um, and uh, the way people vote in every election differs. Uh, there are many factors that work in election. So therefore, uh, we cannot compare one election with another election. But having said that, uh, obviously any election and any uh, defeat in any election calls for any political party to introspect. Um, for individuals to introspect so uh, you know it's a part of uh, process of election and democracy where uh, we win some elections we lose some elections but it is always the duty of every political party to learn from their mistakes and uh, look into uh, the, the issues that were there in the election and why the possible results could have happened so, but so, for NPP, so what went wrong one, one here? One, one, one. What went wrong? What is it that you all failed? Uh, we can't say uh, specifically right now because there are too many factors. We are uh, looking into it and uh, it will be too premature for me to give a knee-jerk reaction to the entire process. But there are many factors and uh, we have in fact had a couple of rounds of meeting already to discuss. I've met most of the party leaders, senior party leaders uh, here in Shillong. I came back last night and uh, since then we've been meeting many people. And we are assessing the situation, but as I said, it would be too early for me to uh, come out with the entire diagnosis, but uh, there are many factors. Uh, that's true. Uh, we've seen this kind of trend in, in politics in the past also. Uh, this happens in many constituencies and many uh, states where the uh, state government is for one party. Uh, we have seen many situations where in the MP election uh, we don't win. So it's not something that doesn't happen. Uh, yes, I would like to thank the people of Karo Hills that for the last 46 years they have uh, put faith and trust in uh, the leadership of the party at different levels and uh, we have done our best uh, to serve the people and uh, we respect, as I said, the mandate. Uh, there are issues, there are concerns and it is our duty now to accept it and our duty to introspect and our duty to find out where we can improve and uh, be ready for the next elections. Is threat to the government or are two defeats? Uh, we are obviously into looking into all the aspects, uh, but uh, I'm very confident. I had a meeting with all our, uh, our coalition partners. In fact, just now also we were having almost a, a marathon meeting with all the coalition partners, uh, especially the UDP had come to meet me today. I had met uh, the leaders of the BJP also. And we have all uh, discussed all the different issues and we have reiterated that we will complete this term, we will work together uh, in a very stable manner and continue to serve the people uh, based on the mandate that they gave to us. call for your resignation following that defeat? The people of the state have given us a mandate in the assembly elections and it is that mandate on the basis of which a government is formed. So I think they'll have to do their homework a bit on this. Uh, election in 2023 was election for the assembly and people voted uh, for most of the coalition partners they gave more seats than what was given in 2018 and therefore that is a mandate based on which this government was formed and hence it is completely wrong for anybody to mention that.